Welcome to a new update and today we're going to look at the altcoin portfolio which I started a week ago. There's not much to update at this point but we're going to look at it in a perspective that we have a few TPs at the moment and we're going to look at the ROI we have with the portfolio as well. Um, that's what we're going to do in this relatively short update. Before we continue make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to this YouTube channel if you do enjoy the content. Make sure to check out our free trade letter which is provided to you three times per week and also there's a premium platform where you can just join to copy trade my portfolio and more and there's also still a bonus with our partner which is a two thousand dollar user share until tomorrow up to eight thousand dollar in deposit bonuses and 15 percent discount on trading fees you can sign up through my affiliate beneath when we're looking at the portfolio you can see it on the screen we have uh, invested a thousand dollars into altcoins and the reason why i wanted to invest just a small amount is to give you an outlook of the portfolio which i would be putting into if i would be going high risk at this point um, and we're going to be trading this along the way in this year there's also more diff uh, more strategies we are going to be adapting but for now i've been buying into Chainlink, curve reserve atom oxy infinity and loops and you can see that the values have been switching a little bit as we are having a roi of only four bucks in a week <laughs> but hey if we keep compounding that's great Chainlink is 250 dollars and has been rallying a little bit due to the hype during this week you can see that there are orders on order or there is an order on order at this point which is i've got a tp at this point Curve has been dropping a little bit and we invested $150 at this point. RSR has been rallying seriously as we are up 23% on that one and we're going to look at it as we also have some orders being placed there. Atom is relatively stable, uh, lost three bucks as we invested $200. Oxy Infinity is up $1 as you can see and Lux is the one with the most pain. If Lux wasn't going to drop that much then we would have been going up by 4% during the week. So we're going to look at that as well in this update. Um, let's go through it and Chainlink is the first one. You can see that we've got those orders here. I'll just be showing you that on BitCat, we are all doing it on BitCat as these are, this is our partner for trading. What we can see when it comes to BitCat trading, uh, we've got the open orders. Hopefully we can see it. It loads a little bit uh, slowly here as we um, are still having electricity issues in this country, which is beautiful. What we have here, I've got a TP on a chain link. You can see that the timeout is there. The internet is just too worse. There's a TP at $9.04 for full amount, which would result into a profit of $61. Um, I'm going to have this TP here. It's still a swing trade portfolio, but I've got this TP placed to be able to accumulate even more. You can see that we've got this range here. So what's my strategy right now when it comes to Chainlink? Um, ultimately, this retest is great. We've done it. We've bounced back up. We probably are going to consolidate a little bit at this point. I still don't have any stop losses being placed for the portfolio yet. I will be doing that if the market starts to rally or, if we, get, or we can get clear views of uh, a trend so we can defend the position but for now i'm okay by holding um the reason why i've been taking the tp around nine dollar six is that we've got this clear range high resistance here which means that i still want to compound the position so that means that i'm looking at a potential tp for chainlink to be established at this range high and if i get there i'm able to accumulate again a new position around eight dollar twenty which means that i'll be using the money to accumulate the position which means i get more chain link and i'm able to generate a higher roi so i'm looking at tp which is 10 percent from here it's 61 bucks six percent on the portfolio then i'm going to place orders in at 8 25 once again the same conclusion can be drawn for RSR, which is currently consolidating and has been making a beautiful retest as well, continue to rally. If you look at the RSR pair on uh, the orders, what we have here, we can see that we've got an order at 72, which is going to result into a profit of $57, which is 57%. 
What's the level? The level is given here around this area. I might want to adjust towards a lower TP for this one, but I'm looking at a TP around 7100 here. So I've put it a little bit high because um, RSR is a typical coin that overshoots, especially if it starts to gap up here, it starts to overshoot a little bit, hence why I've placed the TP a little bit higher. At this point, I'm also debating to put in a stop loss beneath this low here. But I think that if the markets make a U-turn, I still believe that we've got a retest to be done here. So I'm just staying put. I only have the TP being placed for RSR. If we have the TP being uh, hit for RSR, I think I'm not sure whether I'm going to continue trading this one. But if I do, I think the trend is going to be up. And then I'm going to look at a rebuy around 5700 at this point. So some positions are getting there. Locking in profits when we get up is even better at this point. The final one that I want to show you is one that is not doing great at this point, which is Lux. Ultimately, um, it's getting to the range that I initially wanted to buy, which uh, Lux at this point. I should have been placing orders. Uh, we could be dropping down towards 20 cents over here. But overall, the thesis remains the same. High accumulation. I'm still making higher lows, higher highs. Still going to be eagerly continuing the trend once we hold this level. I don't have a stop placed on this one either. I'm still looking for TPs approximately on this range high here for resulting for 50%. And I'm just going to hold at this point. That's the update for today. Make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to this YouTube channel. I'll be back later on. And if I'm going to put any stop loss in for RSR, for instance, or take profits, I'll be, I'll be sending that out in the trade letter. And I'll also be tweeting about it uh, once we do. Have a wonderful day. Ciao.